Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 12, DBE, 2022, Final Paper 1, Question 2. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. So this is the information or so-called formula sheet. Please take note. This is important that whenever you answer any question, always consult this page to help you to make your problems easier. Now, this is question 7, the first question on calculus. 7.1, determine f prime x from first principles. If the f of x equals to x squared plus x, determine f prime x if the f of x equals to 2x to the power 5 minus 3x to the power 4 plus 8x. And 7.3, the tangent to the g of x, ax cubed plus 3x squared plus bx plus c, has a minimum gradient at the point negative 1 and negative 7. For which values of x will g be concave up? Remember, f prime x means derivative. Now, determine the derivative by means of first principles. So that means you cannot use the derivative rules but you have to use the formula which appears on your formula sheet of first principles. And we all recognize it as the f prime x, the limit as h approach 0 of the f of x plus h minus the f of x over h. And remember, h cannot be 0. So what do we do is we substitute, first replace x squared plus x worth, listen, x plus h. So x squared is replaced by x plus h. And x is replaced by x plus h. Then you put your negative, And then, secondly, you replace x by itself. So, therefore, it remains x squared plus x. Then you remove your brackets. Collect your like terms. Please take note, terms without h will cancel. If that doesn't happen, then something is wrong. Then you take out h as a common factor because we would like to cancel the h in the denominator. Because remember, division by 0 is not allowed. So h will cancel and we're left with uh, the limit as h approach 0 of 2x plus h plus 1. And the derivative of 2x is x. The derivative of, I mean, is 2x. The derivative of h is 0. And the derivative of 1 is 1. Well, of course, you can use other methods. There are different ways of doing this. Right, 7.2, find the derivative. And now it doesn't say first principle, so therefore you are allowed to use the rules of differentiation. So remember, what you do, you say 5 times 2 is 10, and you subtract 1 from 5. It gives you x to the power of 4. Same with 4 times 3 is 12. Take 1 away from the 4, you get x to the power of 3. And the same with 8x. 1 times 8 is 8, and of course the 1 of the x minus 1 is 0. So therefore, the derivative is 10x to the power 4 minus 12x cubed plus 8. Now 7.3, the tangent to the line the g of x equals to ax cubed plus 3x squared plus bx plus c has a minimum gradient at the point negative 1 and negative 7. So for which values of x will g be concave up? So, what you do is, you substitute, right? Now, if you first differentiate uh, the, the equation, so 3ax cubed becomes 3x squared plus 6x plus b. So, first, get first derivative. Then, you get the second derivative, 6ax plus 6. Because, remember, we're dealing with a tangent line and we're dealing with points of concavity. So once you have your second derivative, not only will you substitute the point negative 1 into the equation, and you get a equals to 1. Now if a is positive, it means the, the second derivative is greater than 0, then that means it is concave up. Or you can look at other different methods of doing it. You can use your drawing, for instance, and look at how you can do it. But I think maybe the easiest way is to do the calculation. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Uh, please give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.